Before we take care of the installation, I first have to take care of a few loose ends. Now a small box with a sprayer valve. Now we have some more parts for another box. This is a door stop, so the door doesn't go in further. We'll have to finish it up. And this is a quick connect, so you connect the garden sprayer and when you're ready, you close it up. In the meantime, I did uh, paint uh, this uh, electrical box. Hi guys, uh, I'm ready to install the water tank and all the components and the accessories, uh, but first I still have to finish up uh, a few things. 
I have two openings, the fill and the dump, that are still closed off. Uh, so I have to remove this inner seal. You might be able to see how much dirt is in the tank. This is about three quarters of a cup of household bleach for this 46 gallon tank. Now I'll fill it up with water. Now I'll let it stand uh, for a couple of hours and then empty it and clean it again. And then attach these two supports. Okay, then we have the metal straps. So I have to install the faucet as well as connect this connection. Got a T connection. It's close, but it works, I think. Now we have to cut the hose and goes to the water tank. And the last connection goes to the water level. And when we fit this, that's then the hose that I just connected, and that goes onto here. Then we still have the dump hose that goes on the faucet. And then put the dump hose through the floor. Put on a hose clamp first. Now I'm gonna soften the tubing and then hopefully I'll be able to push it onto this connector. That looks good. You can see how the hose goes into the box and then to the dump valve. And then what I would like to do is attach the dump hose that goes through the floor because I can put some silicone in it so that can dry throughout the night. First thing that I like to do is to put the water level in.
Then we have the box for the sprayer. There's my friend. Now I need some tubing. Okay, did forget a few holes. Yeah. Hey, you don't like machines, eh? No, you don't like drilling. Before I continue with the sprayer valve, I have to connect the water supply. This is where the water comes from. So, first I have to connect the hose. Before I continue with the sprayer tubing, I have to put in the water supply. This is where the water comes from, so I'll put in the hose first. This tubing with the water supply will have a valve and then it goes to the pump. Then we need a hose clamp. Let's see. Okay. You can use the leftover hose to connect to the sprayer. Shall we? Then we put the hose in here again. Here it comes. There we go. Then we have to make a connection between this relief valve and the fill dish. Okay. I'll be trying out this top panel. get the fill dish again. That seems to work. Hi guys, I've been busy for weeks now working on the water tank and everything that's connected to it uh, and it's finally installed. Um, 
The next thing that I'll do is uh, some testing. I will have to test for the host connections, all the individual connections, and just make sure that they're not leaking. And there are quite a few of them. Uh, then the second thing that I'm not really sure about is normally the fill dish is a, uh, installed on the outside of the vehicle. Uh, and since this is inside, uh, I'm wondering because it's fairly close to the tank itself, uh, what happens when you're driving and you make a stop or you uh, drive away, how much of the water might be able to get out of the fill dish uh, uh, or through the vent hole here as well. Uh, and the last thing is I have that same vent hole for the level, the water level that's located here. Um, and that's also a concern. At the top of the rear panel, I have the fill dish, which is a standard exterior fill dish, but I place it inside. It has a vent hole here. It has some tubing that goes down to the top of the tank, as well as uh, a fill hole. It has a big hose that goes to the other side of the top of the tank. Then a little bit lower, we have the water level. Uh, that is a piece of tubing, a clear tubing that goes uh, from the bottom of the, t at least from the bottom level of the tank to the top level of the tank and is connected to a bottom hole of the tank so you can see how much water is in the tank. Then we got uh, two boxes. The one at the bottom has a dump valve and the one at the top has a valve for the hose connector. It has a simple valve so it only needs a quarter turn to open and close and I can connect the sprayer hose uh, with a quick uh, connector. There are several connecting hoses inside uh, but this is the main dump uh, hose so that's a valve with the same quarter turn opener and a hose that goes through the floor of the uh, fan to the outside and that's connected to the bottom uh, of the water tank so if that has to be emptied it can be done easily as well. Then we have a storage area that still has to be closed off, of course, for the hose and a sprayer. You can pull out this coiled hose and with a quick connector, <laughs> yeah, okay, go sit down, down. With a quick connector, I can connect it. Joey, <laughs> you're not helping. I can make a quick connect here and then on this side, I can connect the sprayer and I can use that to, uh, to clean a bike or to give uh, my big friend a give my big friend a uh, wash down and then uh, whenever I'm finished I'll put it back. This point is connected to, no no you stay inside to a point after the water pump so this will have uh, pressure. This is the water tank uh, as you can see I have metal straps attached to the bottom as well as to the wall. These are two braces those are really needed because uh, as as the tank fills up, it, it will bulge. So these, uh, these two are really necessary. I put them on a slight angle. This part, the right part, a little bit uh, higher than the left part where the exit is. So there's a natural flow towards the rear. Although in all practicality, it may not make that much of a difference because it's not always easy to park level when you're boondocking. Uh, another part are these 2x4s that are located on all sides for support. Another part is the uh, support panel. This is uh, two layers of half inch uh, plywood that is really needed for it not to uh, bend over. This side is not finished yet, but this will be closed up as well. And this is where I store my fill hose and it also stores my sprayer. Now that I'm mostly finished with the water tank, uh, I still have to uh, finish uh, the Murphy bed. That's uh, my first priority. Then the closet out here, and then I'll continue with the kitchen area that goes from wall to wall and the fridge on the passenger side. So follow the journey. I'll see you next week. Hi guys, this is Joey, and we're building a one of a kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys, you're doing a good job.